Bande Guru Bodo Dandam Hatta Vinda Samanitam Sri Chaitanya Prabhu Bande Nitananda Sahoditam Sri Nanda 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 Radhika Charma Dayam Gopi Janu Samayuktam Vinda Vāṅśā-karpa-karvaśya-kipāsindu-pevacu-adhitānam-pāvane-bhavaśna-vibhyo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-namo-nam
शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु समवन इज समवन क्वेश्चनिंग हिम दैट इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड व्हाई वी आर गेटिंग सो मच ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस एंड अनहैप्पीनेस व्हाई भगवान इज गिविंग सो मच डिस्ट्रेस एंड अनहैप्पीनेस टू अस गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड इन regard to that question that so much distress and unhappiness what you are getting in this material world what actually you are feeling what you are realizing that so much uh, apad and vipad so much uh, arrangement of uh, distress and sorrow it is not to give you distress and sorrow this whatever kind of arrangements what you are seeing this is not to get give you distress and sorrow but that it is just to bhagwan speaking that uh, that uh, sorrow or unhappiness what is the reason for that that what is the reason that you are actually taking and accepting that sorrow what what for what purpose you need i am just speaking that you come to me i haven't spoken to you that uh, you give so much bravery you should show i actually telling you you come to me that only i am speaking that you have taken this step only on your own this is your own individual uh, uh, step okay you want to take this kind of uh, happiness in this so you take that what i can do gaudiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told that in this material world that whatever kind of distress and sorrow that so much after than vipad what you are getting this all what you are getting this whatever kind of uh, arrangement what is being done this is in order to give distress to the jeevas it's not for that it is bhagwan is not at all arranging sorrow and distress for them but this kind of sorrow and distress for what purpose it is required it is required this is required all thing that to just uh, uh, get uh, into fire is it good you to jump into fire you yourself has taken this decision whatever kind of distress and sorrow it is not at all essential and necessary in order to give us this instruction bhagwan directly or indirectly has arranged everything for us that uh, the actual eternal happiness that they bonded jeevas don't know about that at all that where is the actual address of happiness they don't know where is the actual uh, address of the happiness the bonded jeevas don't know that uh, the actual happiness which is eternal in nature where it is that uh, that's why they are running for all these material things that actual eternal happiness what it is that uh, topmost anandamay life they don't know actually where it is so that's why they are running higher and higher way then bhagwat ji mahapuran also in 80 87th chapter in the 10th 10th canto of 87th chapter there actually it is written there that bhagwan just be merciful on me and you just take away your maya from me in upanishad also it is all the same written lot of things are written a lot of shlokas are there like that in the upanishads as well oh oh give who oh, you are the protector and nourishment of everyone oh bhagwan you are the nourisher you just uh, please uh, take away this maya from my side why because that absolute truth i want to see 
that absolute truth that top most absolute truth that is a one curtain is there on to that supreme absolute truth that's why i can't see that and so now what to do bonded jay was won't be accepting that at all so it's all already written then bhagwat ji mahapuran in the 10th canto of the 87th chapter it is written there very nicely it is written very beautiful shloka means that your maya roopi aja that that shadow about which i have already i remember that jajati jajati in the last uh, he is just uh, getting lost and uh, he is coming in the and in the last he is just getting a circle and circled in maya and has become so much uh, uh, becoming full of sorrow that he is getting a topmost nirved and with nirved with full sorrowful mood that with devjani it means that uh, the first wife after that another that sarmishtha she is actually forcefully taking that is not at all good so her second wife is sarmishtha so whatever with the case after that he is getting so much sorrow and uh, sorry about that inside his heart that nirved is coming and uh, that by the krupa of chaitya guru maybe that kind of uh, some uh, small knowledge he is getting hint of knowledge and he is actually speaking to her wife that in order to just uh, tell her wife that this kama what is there inside your heart it won't go away at all it's not like that that today i will enjoy or tomorrow i will just leave that no not at all possible it is not at all possible like that and someone actually making which are okay maharaj uh, age is actually less maybe he can enjoy some kind of uh, enjoyment sensual enjoyment it's not like that this is not at not like that not at all it's totally absurd if in fire someone is putting ghee if you are putting ghee then definitely the ignition of the fire will just get uh, elevated more and more it's not that it will decrease that it will not decrease how it will decrease you tell me that you have not understood this point yet i will be enjoying it today and i will see it later what you will see later this fire of ignition won't be getting uh, decreased at all it will not get deceased it will increase and elevate more and more this uh, actual uh, fire it will not get uh, uh, decreased it will increase continuously if you put ghee into that that kama that by taking the enjoyment of kama that have you seen that you are getting peacefulness from kama you just see home one example have you seen that and it will increase more and more you can't stop that in geeta also it is written and it is also written in geeta you can never get any saturation point in your life you can never get any saturation point in your life that enough of it okay leave it you cannot this is called karma that is actually called kama <clears throat> it will just destroy you completely and burn you up the person it will just take you to the crematorium ground and when his body is getting burned up still he he will not at all get peacefulness from kama so much examples are there regarding this so much examples and proofs i can give regarding this that pururava that you see the life history of pururava then sobri muni rishi's life also you can see oh my god 60000 years of bhajan totally in fraction of second just got destroyed 
that bhajan i won't speak it is tapasya it is not at all good to speak bhajan it is tapasya bhajan is such a term that everywhere it can't be used at all yogi gyanis karmis they are not at all doing bhajan at all this uh, terminology of bhajan the terminology terminology bhajan will not be used and maybe in order to understand that this kind of word i have just uh, came from my uh, tongue from my mouth so it is actually all the will of bhagwan so what that calm which is uh, not at all controllable which is not at all getting control which is unstable but uh, for this all actually persons are uh, uh, moving behind that kama only okay, what does it mean marriage you know that marriage illusion it's one kind of fallacy of uh, water you can see that kind of uh, one fallacy to, uh, of some uh, water which get precipitated everyone is getting behind that i am also speaking to foreigners everyone that this is not marriage this is my rage <laughs> that they are actually uh, just just started laughing this is not marriage this is my rage who is speaking this is marriage what do you mean by marriage you tell me this is my rage <laughs> so the everyone is actually just uh, going towards that regarding this uh, in the shastras it is written that the actual reason main reason behind this is that that when you are getting in going in the desert you are feeling so much thirsty it's like you will get tired when you will not get water and immediately you have uh, definitely you are seeing some kind of pond there in where there is actually water and i will be just removing my thirst so okay i will be just moving ahead and after that i will be moving ahead more and more that kind of uh, pond is just getting away from me are what is that that okay i will be going up, um, more i will be mo- moving forward and then he is moving forward and then i am seeing that the water actually is not at all there in actual in actuality water is not at all there that is actually the truth that this uh, that this is that adjacent part of the water where there is some space between the sand and water that so much uh, so much uh, heat is there that your uh, sand is getting very light and because of that vacant that in order to fill up the blank of that vacant space the water will just get precipitated in an evaporated form and it looks like that there is one kind of vibration which is getting just like a vib- it it looks like a vibration which is getting produced this is the this is the fallacy of uh, tez tatva this is one kind of fallacy this is not at all truth in the desert that kind of uh, thirst in order to remove your thirst by water just having confidence so much you will just move away for water and at last you will just die that's it in search of water that's why shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur that's why shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur has written this in the kirtan Uh, which which sansar it is which material life it is just in a uh, just in a peaceful peaceful mood just make or whether you can stay in front of guru vishnu is more good what kind of material life it is what is is there in this material life you tell me that whatever how much you will run definitely you will just uh, become more and more thirsty and you will just get die in this why because water is not at all there this kind of material world that whatever whatever kind of enjoyment or sensual perception sensual satisfaction you are actually running that is it is just like mirage in a desert it's not nothing comparable as compared to that this is just one uh, kind of uh, false thing illusion in ravi thakur one philosopher he has written written one nice uh, story there one uh, actually muslim servant one uh, very king uh, one in very very old servant he is and he is serving his king there and uh, within in front of his eyes in front of his eyes 
each and every thing all nakedness of the uh, of the king and his uh, daughter everything he is just saying what is the character of uh, queen what is the character of king what is the character of minister what is the character of uh, that uh, uh, son and daughter everything he has seen and uh, maybe some uh, reason came that epidemic just uh, spread and because of that he that whole uh, uh, persons of the family of that king he just got killed and everyone got killed because of the epidemic spread it and nobody just stayed there everyone everyone was killed and in that that the servant muslim servant also at the last he also got killed and the servant the muslim servant also after after death his uh, his he's not getting a normal death because of that he become one ghost and after becoming ghost in that uh, palace of the king in that old pa- palace like in the midnapur our guru varg when uh, in midnapur math when they just came by the mercy of krishna i have done lot of hari katha but now i am not doing it is just uh, my because of maya i am not at all able to do that so there here ab param param puja bas sant ko swami na param param puja bad bhakti dai madhav ko swami everyone chela bharti maharaj also spoke that there one one temple was established mat and that this is one very old place of ghost there when uh, there is there is one ghost there in that uh, uh, previously and nobody used to go and madhav goswami maharaj speaking that what ghost can do to us okay let us go there and we can go to the zamindar and we can speak that you just give it that land of ghost to us and this is actually the land of ghost how you can take that he is zamindar speaking madhav goswami is speaking that you just give it to us no problem for us we can do whatever we want and after that just taking that land just that the ghost just got away from there and he is just getting relieved from his ghost position and he then they started doing kirtan etc and from there big big rocks and uh, stones are actually falling and there nobody nothing uh, can be done by the will of bhagwan everything was sorted so this is the actual palace of ghost and after that by sankirtan that ghost gone away from there and now the same old palace of the king where that servant muslim servant was there it's very very old and uh, after that sanskar then hari katha kirtan they have done and that that ghost was gone away from bindapur mat and then the math was established and the ghost uh, went away and uh, that mehroli his name was mehroli that i have already in the childhood in the 5th 6th class i have heard this story that mehroli one muslim servant was there and uh, he actually when god died after become ghost and in the night time he used to just uh, speak loudly in the night time he used to speak rightly everything is uh, everything everything is false everything is false ha 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 like that he used to speak <laughs> so everything is false like this definitely yes everything is false only is right with whom we are having relationship you tell me with my wife with husband or with mother and child say having relationship no relationship it is just by speaking we are actually feeling very good but realization it is not at all coming at all with realization it is very much uh, uh, difficult because to speak it is a two days life very easy but to get into realization is very difficult very very difficult to get maya devi won't allow you to do that at all maya devi won't allow you to do that at all you see what aila has done after that jajati what so much uh, dis- he is feeling uh, bad and after he, ajamil also was feeling very distressed and sobri muni also become distressed and then prabhupad speaking regarding this that okay definitely some mangal is done for them why because they are nishkapat no kapat bhav is there the prabhupad speaking this after after all after all this your jajati shobari ajamil what's his name ajamil 
अजामिल जजाती पुरुरवा ऑल हैविंग एक्चुअली गेटिंग एट लास्ट सम मंगल दे आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग व्हाट मंगल दैट देयर कॉन्शियसनेस लेवल बिकम स्टैक दैट बिकम स्टेबल एंड आवर व्हाट एवर काइंड ऑफ किक वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम माया देवी स्टिल वी आर आवर माइंड इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग फिक्स्ड इट इज वेरी वेरी अनस्टेबल बट देयर हार्ट एक्चुअली बिकम माइंड बिकम वेरी स्टेबल दैट मे बी दे आर गेटिंग द मंगल वाई बिकॉज इन साइड दैम नो कपट भाव इज देयर एट ऑल नो कपट भाव वॉज देयर एंड वाई वी आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग मंगल दैट बिकॉज कपट भाव डेफिनेटली इज देयर निष्कपट भाव इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर सो वॉट टू डू दी प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी दैट इट इज वेरी वेरी डेंजरस दिस होल मटीरियल ओशन प्रहलाद महाराज जी ऑल्सो ऑल मेकिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ रिमार्क इन श्रीमद भागवतम दैट ही स्पीकिंग प्रहलाद महाराज दैट ओ भगवान दिस टॉप मोस्ट निरसिंग स्वरूप वेरी डेंजरस इट इज बाय लुकिंग एक्सटर्नली दिस यू हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन दिस दैट यू आर एक्चुअली भक्त वत्सल दैट दैट बाय एक्सटर्नल विचार दैट दू हैव वेरी डेंजरस स्वरूप नरसिंग स्वरूप एक्सटर्नली दैट बिकॉज यू आर भक्त वत्सल दैट जस्ट बाई सींग दिस डेंजरस स्वरूप आई एम नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग फेयरफुल अरे यू आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग फेयर द होल वर्ल्ड इज गेटिंग फेयरफुल बाई सींग माई दिस स्वरूप आई एम नॉट एट ऑल हैव गेटिंग फेयर ऑफ दिस स्वरूप यू आर ऑलरेडी देयर टू डू क्रिप ऑन मी दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड आई एम एक्चुअली फेयरिंग अलॉट भगवान दैट दिस योर फेयरफुल स्वरूप दिस वेरी फेयरफुल स्वरूप ऑफ योर्स आई एम नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग फेयरफुल बाय दैट आई एम एक्चुअली गेटिंग फेयरफुल ऑफ दिस मटीरियल ओशन मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस मटीरियल ओशन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड one razor one razor sharp razor blade on on that if we are actually walking it is our actual material world so nice it is you see <laughs> one kind of razor on razor sharp razor you are actually just running on walking you can walk on it no it's not at all possible definitely it's going to cut you nobody has this kind of uh, Uh, power to just run on a razor this material world this whole uh, circle is moving krishna i am only actually fearful of that i am not at all fearful of anything else apart from this material ocean but still the actual sanskar of all the person it definitely going to put that into this material uh, a uh, chakra of material sansar what to do definitely forcefully it will put the previous sanskar what you can do definitely it will put why because this whatever kind of previous sanskar was there whatever you are doing definitely you get the result of that that newton einstein also has spoken that whatever kind of karm you have actually doing definitely you have to face the actions results of that whatever kind of uh, actions you have done the result you will get out of that wife will not at all get the result the, and reverse in reverse that whatever kind of uh, bad activity or bad activity she has done definitely the husband has to take some part of that definitely some part has to be taken by the husband in this material world that if the wife is actually we have charani she is of bad character then some share has to take by the husband some share has to be given to the husband shubh and ashubh bad and good activities that result you have to face that's why shriman mahaprabhu uh, repeatedly he is speaking 
and our bhakti mein thakur guru were also speaking already spoken no that but nobody actually is going to accept that nobody wants to accept what to do bhakti vinod thakur lot of times in kirtan also he is actually giving us this uh, uh, cautious careful just be careful he is making us careful all the time he is making us cautious and shankaracharya also has made us cautious lot of actually uh, shlokas are there bhakti vinod thakur also actually speaking this kirtan what is actual swarup of kaam in the beast kaam is there in animals also so much dangerous kaama is there that kaama if you can if you are not at all giving support to kaama then kaam if you will not at all support kama then definitely going to kill you. you if you will not support kama then definitely it going to destroy you it will just give you so much uh, uh, distress burning feeling inside you that our devahuti mother already told to kapil to kapil bhagwan that i am actually becoming very much unhappy full of distress that this kama is so much dangerous this kama it will not get uh, completeness at all right all these six veg shad veg six kind of veg are there it is all coming in the six categories which will give you distress all the time that definitely is uh, full of that and in this anarth in when you are in this anarth situation to do hari bhajan is not at all possible just to give uh, satisfaction to your mind is very much uh, uh, difficult to control your mind in order to sp- uh, control your mind is very much easy to speak but practically very difficult priyavrat also has just when le- he left he- this material world because vairagya just got inside his heart and this prem same priyavrat in order to get back to his the house manu maharaj ji actually speaking to brahma ji regarding this and uh, brahma ji also accept and just speaking that okay let me go and just see how i can take him back to the house back to the sansar so lot of things are there i won't need to speak but time is really very limited so this mind is so much dangerous that uh, mind apart from that nobody is dangerous at all any time it can uh, uh, do anything any time it can give us it can cheat us there is actually no point at all he will definitely cheat us brahma ji also speaking to his uh, to priya brat he is actually speaking all the things and he is just putting him back uh, giving all the arrangements to so that priyavrat can come back to the material sansar but when brahma ji when going to his dham brahm lok then in inside his heart is becoming very unhappy and he is thinking that you see that just by my own son manu i have just uh, uh, taking priyavrat back to this material ocean but still inside my heart that unhappiness is there this vichar is coming so much uh, unhappiness is there that you see that crores infinity jivatmas are there in this material world and just uh, someone who is very lucky he in bhagavat bhajan or unto the lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan his heart is getting attached to that just by very very rare luck but this automatically by the grip of naraji maharaj that he is uh, getting that uh, he is actually just uh, preparing himself for the transcendental bhajan and i am actually making the arrangement of uh, putting him back into the material life so i have not done it good by just thinking like this brahma ji by com- coming back to brahma lok he is becoming very unhappy when brahma ji actually at the time of coming back to the to his dham brahma lok he is thinking become very unhappy are he already has automatically came to this uh, 
Bhagavad Bhajan and I have just taken him again back to this material ocean. This work I haven't done very good. He is feeling very unhappy, Brahmaji, inside his heart. So this is the actual arrangement of Mahamaya. This whole material world is Mahamaya. I am actually swearing on Guru Vaishnava when I am speaking that this Mahamaya, that this material world, that attraction of this uh, Mahamaya, by this attraction to get uh, out of that is so much difficult. So much difficult it is that you can't even imagine. In this material world, in this material world, all kind of uh, rubbish talking of this material world and Grama Katha, all useless material talkings, everything is there. That uh, uh, material uh, relationship, just uh, go on enjoyment just like a pros and after the view and go. And now you can see in the marriage ceremony here, there, new system is that buffet system is there, buffet system. Just like cats and dogs, they are taking, uh, oh Maharaj, what is actually, uh, you just take, just take, just go on eating. Who actually will serve and all everything, Are what is actually juta? Nothing is just like they are cock dogs and cats, they are just eating. Automatically you take yourself and you take all biryani, champ, everything you can take, whatever is your will. That everything, spoon and plate, everything is there, you can take on your own. So this is actually advanced society, which is our modern society. So much actually topmost uh, edu- edu- educated, they are thinking that they are so much glorified all over the world. That their life is just like cats and dogs comparable to them. Even cats and dogs are good. That they are more uh, uh, than them. What to do? It is the actual advanced society, no? you see. There, if you make this vichar, that this buffet system, this is not, this is actually buffalo system. This is not at all buff- buffet system. What is buffet? This is buffalo system. And buffalo system more uh, bad than buffalo system because before buffalo is not at all take biryani. <laughs> he, she is, he, buffalo is not at all taking uh, fish, meat, flesh, nothing. But buffalo is more better. So in this material world, this uh, material talkings, material relationships, the, everything is actually material behavior. It is all actually harmful for bhakti. Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ji in Kirtan also in written a lot of things. Like this lot of things here Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written. What actually Bhakti Mutha was speaking? But this Bhakti Mutha is just praying. And but who will actually take that? Someone will take that? No, not at all. Some okay. Each and every society you can go and see. By and by one you can see that each and every mud society you can go and see what actually is going on there. You just see what actually is going on. Some purity is there or some some kind of uh, uh, respect is there. No, every, every, even shame, shameful bhav is not at all there. Full of shame. All Mataji uh, are actually the king. They are actually doing a rasoi kitchen there and they are actually serving. In the Samadhi temple, one person, one uh, he is actually good good sadhu. He actually wants to do Hari Bhajan. He is hearing Hari Katha, a lot of things. But he is speaking, Maharaj, what to do? That they are just putting bhog and uh, in plate and Guruji actually taking that in Samadhi Mandir. Have, 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 Guru, have Gurudev taken this kind of... Pr- and if you will speak them, then they will just cut you into pieces. They will fight with you. Are that when I have just protest against them, when I have spoken, what you are doing? This, this, the Prabhupada not at all speaking like this. The Prabhupada and Guru Bhagavan not at all uh, indicating us like this. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Shiddhar Goswami not at all speaking like this. What they are doing? Then they are actually speaking all rubbish. 
and they are actually speaking all uh, foul language to me oh, you do on your own like this they are speaking and uh, so much uh, uh, situation become worst that just for purity maintenance i am actually speaking them like this i have done so that they can get the actual mang- mangal but they are actually thinking it opposite they are thinking it opposite i actually speaking right thing but they are thinking opposite they are doing aparad what to do they are speaking all rubbish all bad things to me so like this this whole material world is like that if you will do something good then the uh, opposite result will be given to you so that's why one time vidya sagar to uh, one person speaking to vidya sagar and he is speaking to vidya sagar that this person actually is just uh, against you and is speaking all rubbish against you and he is actually making all kind of disadvantage for you and he is also they are all persons are also doing for me as well all the time they are making one one other kind of uh, sabotage why actually for my amangal why they are actually coming i am actually not at all doing any kind of mangal to him i am actually if i have done some kind of good for him then definitely he can do a mangal for me i haven't done any kind of mangal for him if i'll give some if i'll do something good for him then definitely he will uh, uh, behave in a opposite way so i haven't uh, behaved in him in a good way so how he can uh, go opposite to me so this is the actual uh, material world what to do you see the case nothing is there to do what to do if you will do good then opposite will happen so they she no in the previous ashram no mother and father was there everyone actually is died everyone has gone into yama yamale what to do very very uh, if i want to do mangal he is actually thinking that i am his enemy how i can uh, i i can get his are who will give you disadvantage foolish you are actually foolish i don't want to speak i don't have any kind of expectation from anyone okay you want to go you can leave me what i can do because nobody want to accept this kind of siddhant which are what to do so this material talkings that material behavior material relationships this is now the actual procedure of bhajan nowadays this is the actual procedure of bhajan the actual the act someone actually wants to want to make a full mala man mata ji is also there and brahmachari is also there he is actually also making full mala and they are actually speaking uh, uh, doing all kind of uh, uh, material talkings they are doing sabji amanya sabji amanya and they are also mata ji doing maybe her health is good or not i am practically experienced i am speaking this what i have actually seen i am actually speaking to you practically that brahmachari is also doing that and brahmachari is also doing amanya even when that uh, they are actually sitting for prasadam i have seen it practically i have seen it practically and i'm become so much surprised after that i'm thinking that okay let it go to hell what i can do even in parikrama i have seen i don't want to speak the name of the society but actually i'm seeing very very bad all brahmachari sanyasis are sitting and opposite all face to face mother uh, that maya and mata ji are actually sitting there and taking prasad you see this is the actual condition and law and all all of them everything is getting destroyed nothing has left now you see aachar aacharan adarsha everything is destroyed now what to do now maybe something uh, it is there which is saved you can just uh, find that i have already seen that practically and my by shame my head is just getting down by that so this is the situation what to do aachar adarsh aacharan that is the topmost thing that to just maintain the society even prostitute can also run the society if some prostitute you will speak that you just run the society okay she will just run the society she can also very easily run the society prostitute because she will do all bad things and she will run it if we are actually become become becoming becoming acharya and uh, i'm taking all the responsibility on my shoulders i don't want to do anything he is actually speaking are who will do that like this it is so like this everything is happening like that what to do they don't want to accept it that in order to just uh, instruction to your heart that manasiksha raghunath das goswami pad has just uh, uh, done that 
that i am we are very much thankful to uh, for infinity time to ragunath das goswami but who will actually take this and who will just uh, digest this kind of siddhant vichar in his own life mahaprabhu ji how that he has shown his acharan that punishment he has shown to his uh, lot of vichar he has shown practically mahaprabhu mahaprabhu ji he is actually giving punishment to chota haridas to brahmanand bharti he is his guru varg but also he has rectified brahmanand bharti whatever kind of uh, very some kind of disparity is there he also has uh, just uh, taken the solution of that balavachari also have some disparity mahaprabhu also has rectified that he already has show, rectified that and has shown the actual acharan to them by them to us so raghunath das goswami path mahaprabhu ji in uh, he is actually speaking the topmost mystery of the bhajan and he has told him and uh, the inside uh, thought of the actual bhajan everything he has actually shown to swarup Go, swarup goswami he is actually giving the responsibility to him about raghunath das goswami path that that swarup goswami is the actual guru of yours that he will be taking care of everything you are his disciple that he has taken diksha from yadunandan acharya ragunath das goswami and yadunandan acharya has taken from shri advait gosai diksha so whatever be the case swarupere tumar guru kari mahaprabhu mahaprabhu speaking to that what whatever swarup gosai knows i don't know even that much he has the topmost uh, secrecy of bhajan and nowadays if you will speak about bhajan then they will be just uh, putting you with the danda he will they will be just uh, putting one danda on your head mahaprabhu also speaking that raghunath das goswami is speaking in upadesh amrit also i have already given one kind of description regarding this those who are in hari bhajan that with the full shraddha that they have ruchi in hari bhajan for them only this all kind of pravachan is uh, applicable for all those of useless people it is not at all applicable at all that upadesh amrit also i have just uh, spoken some kind of details regarding this that jagadanand pandit ji also speaking jagadanand pandit also speaking the same point that very nicely very beautiful things the first thing is that you just need to control your mind your heart and mind in order to control that that is manasiksha it is the top most uh, uh, difficult point if manasiksha is done then be sure that everything is you are su- successful if your mind and heart is controlled if it is uh, heart as mind is instructed then definitely the, you are successful why because karano bandhana makshiyo and bhajan ka prarambh mein in the starting of your bhajan at the in the starting of bhajan only this is the top most permanent and fixed point you just be careful this already being told and the another point is there all these points it is just in order to these are the steps to control your mind and heart that whether you are in gyan yoga karma yoga wherever you go the first teaching is how to control your mind and heart that's it the first teaching it is whatever kind of yoga you are taking if you are in the not at all uh, getting into the bhakti line okay you can go to other line but still you this is the first and the foremost point but whatever kind of uh, pathway you are taking whether you are in the line of bhakti or whether in the line of yoga gyan karma whatever is there the first uh, pathway you just need to take it that is what that is in order you just need whether you have controlled your mind or heart or not that same heart and mind then in bhagavad gita mahapuran 
in bhagavad gita mahapurana it is compared to the mad horse same mind and heart tomorrow we will be discussing this like mad horse it is comparable to that and the persons this uh, their whole consciousness is just got unconscious they don't have any kind of from infinity time they have become unconscious their eternal consciousness is getting uh, this is from infinity time about this tomorrow we will be discussing it the so actual point is that that on to your mind and heart everything is dependent everything is dependent on your mind it's not light that even our consciousness is gone he become unconscious even bhagavad ji mahapuran in the 10th canto of 87 chapter it's there written this i have already told you that tomorrow we'll be discussing regarding this and in the other other way other uh, other way it is written that top most uh, rare diamond rare money and diamond or jewel it is there uh, uh, getting hanged in your neck it is already there on your neck and you are not at all uh, having this kind of remembrance that this uh, diamond which is invaluable uh, diamond or jewel it is there in your neck only and you are actually not remembering that and you are just started uh, shouting oh where is my jewel where who has taken that are who has taken it is there in my neck in the childhood also with me same uh, thing happened with me as well in the school when in the first or second class i was studying that i can't remember because i am child no childish so i used to disremember everything and in the school i went and uh, there was bag uh, nowadays there are different different kind of bags but the previous bags were there at my time i used to remember very nice bags were there inside every point is there of pencil where to put all books i have to take in my bag and used to go to the school and there in the class i have class everything is going on and now i can't remember when i have just put the bag on to my back i have i can't remember and i started crying oh where is my bag where my father will just kill me where is my bag oh my god i started crying and there is one friend speaking are your bag is at your bag only are oh yes it is in my bag yes it is on my bag only yes my bag oh i just forgot that i have taken it on my bag and now i am actually remembering it i am actually laughing at it that in the childhood it's already happened with me that my it is already at my back my own bag but still i am actually crying where is my bag at the back side definite so i actually re- forgot that that the bag is at my back and that where is my book and all my pencil box where it is i just started crying and the father will kill me and like this all my friends actually started uh, laughing at me and where is my bag so like this this is the situation are where it is it is there only at your back <laughs> so this our heart and mind this in bhagavad gita mahapurana it's written there that 87 chapter it is written that i will show you that by your forgetfulness of your actual consciousness that kind of uh, that liberty or independence what you are having that your independence and liberty that it is just like a jewel or valuable jewel, rare jewel that what bhagwan has given us and our and our own swarup we have already forgot everything in bhagwat ji mahapuran it is written okay that jewel definitely is there is that same jewel invaluable jewel is already there in your neck and you are again you are actually uh, seeing where it is where it is so it is already there and bhagwan is already there inside your heart bhagwan where it will go bhagwan already there inside already there inside our heart that bhagwan is already there inside our heart as parmatma and jivatma is also there inside 
but everything is uh, we forgot that we are thinking that i am the actual enjoyer i am thinking hmm. that i am this enjoyer that this is all my everything is there this my whole body and everything so much uh, rich people also they have to have to go i have already seen that they have gone into hell external which are they are actually having that version of wish they have taken diksha already they have taken like this they are actually uh, putting this kind of banner but i have already heard this that how that they have got into hell just by the actual strength of money by the krip of bhagwan that strength of money should not come in my life at all this is my actual uh, from heart it's my actual prayer i don't need strength of money at all i need guru bal i need the strength of guru that the actual divya gyan that kripa because i know by the strength of money the person becomes more degraded than cats and dogs the prabhupad speaking this on his own the prabhupad speaking on his own this point that this money just gonna make the person degraded into the hellish condition and i'll become one servant of mahamaya what to do Prabhupada used to speak that the Prabhupada that what I will do by taking money excess money that definitely I am going to disrespect Guru Vishnu so whatever be the case Mahaprabhu has given this kind of instruction but nowadays that Yukta in the name of Yukta Vairagya that that to give mental satisfaction to your heart that is the top most uh, thing uh, wherever you go whether, whether you in any ashram or mat you go in any society you go that now this is the predominating factor what it is that how to just uh, satisfy your heart and mind whatever your mind and heart is asking you give it to him whatever all kind of uh, all the sanyasis are taking their uh, uh, just for uh, enjoyment purpose they are taking all the travelers with them in vrindavan at the time of going to vrindavan one uh, devotee of england he just went with me to the station and at the station i have i'm just standing there and i'm seeing that there is very nice young sanyasi and all those matajis that uh, uh, pitajis are very less matajis are more <laughs> so they were actually when they have just came and they putting dandwad on to lotus feet of maybe his maharaj age will be 25 or 28 and maharaj ji inside his heart has his heart just becoming just like uh, is becoming very happy that maharaj actually standing and all mata ji is are putting dandwa down to his lotus feet and that maharaj ji is actually maybe very very unmarried women everyone is there and maharaj ji his heart is becoming full of uh, topmost satisfaction because by seeing only i can understand what kind of the iq what actually given by gurudev and bhagwan that by just seeing only i can caught that the sanyasi who is just like an animal i can see his situation from inside what he is feeling what i want to speak so this is the actual material world in this i we need to go i will not go according to that i'll just going to kick that away everything you have to go according to that what to do so you will be speaking that i'll maharaj will be doing some adjustment okay you do adjustment what to do that whatever kind of adjustment you can do that with maya you will be doing adjustment that definitely you will get maya only that you have that kind of uh, adjustment mood with them i don't have any kind of adjustment mood with maya okay you can do adjustment what do is what do you meant by adjustment you just need to uh, you just need to accept some bad in and just need to leave some good that is called adjustment that is called atap some political party he is actually to other political party if he is taking the support some gathbandhan if it is being done then what will happen then after that some understanding platform they will be doing you do have to give us give to us this that in our bhajan raja is the same it's not like that in our bhajan raja, that guru vaishnav if they will give us this then only i will in return i will give that it's not like that this bhajan it is actually bhajan raja so mahaprabhu ji also actually has just given this instruction रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी बाद रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी एज जस्ट गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शन टू 
Raghunath Das Goswami Pad and Raghunath Das Goswami Pad started crying. He just, you just, please, uh, I, I just protect me. And Mahaprabhu speaking that I, you just go to your house now, just make yourself stable, and go home. You go to your home now, be stable. Just like monkeys, don't do kind of market virage, don't do like that. You go to your house. You see ma- monkeys, don't do virage like monkeys. Manga- monkeys virage is very famous. That how it is famous? That just by seeing it, the monkey is very distressed. And he'll be taking all uh, fruits, sweets and your spectacles. Everything will take immediately. Are some baba. Some has taken and everything that you just go behind some f- packet of fruits, packet of sweets and spectacle, purse, mobile, everything gone. Taken by mobile, by monkey. And now you have to give something to him. That is called Markat Vairagya, what shown by Mahaprabhu. Externally, that is topmost Vairagya, this monkey. But uh, that monkey, he is the topmost Kami. No any kind of animalism. Monkey is the topmost Kami. So much calm is there inside monkey. But externally he is very distressed. He is just seeing it in the sky. So much topmost Vairagya he is. And immediately he will take everything. Your uh, whatever things are there. Valuable things. It means that Mahaprabhu is actually just indicating about Yukta Vairagya. But Yukta Vairagya, this Vishay, that will not at all stay inside our heart. This is very much difficult to understand. This Yukta Vairagya, that technique is there. This is so much secret, so much secret technique that in order to just uh, take and apply that from tomorrow, it is not at all possible for you. It is automatically applied. This Yukta Vairagya, that Kaushal of Yukta Vairagya, this automatically by the Kripa of Guru Vaishnav, it will just get manifested in your heart. Forcefully, you can't uh, manifest that. If you will do, then opposite will happen. That uh, previous week also I have told that whatever kind of medicine you will give to your heart, that more medicine you will go to the heart, definitely you will become more and more distressful in that. If you will be giving more and more medications to your heart, then it will become more and more uh, unstable because this is not the actual condition of heart. So how to do bhajan? So that is the actual thing. That's what we are discussing here. What to do? That's what I am discussing here. Those people that uh, who are actually Shraddha Vishishta, that they want to do with uh, Hari Bhajan, with full of Shraddha, for them only this all kind of uh, instructions, this Manasiksha, Upadesh, Amrit, everything which is there. Just by taking nice, nice food, we are actually uh, taking nice food. It is our own disadvantage. And just by taking nice uh, clothes, we are actually the other per- persons are uh, getting disadvantaged. Why? Because the persons are taking wearing nice clothes in order to show to others. But I am not at all speaking about pure Guru Vaishnav. Prabhupada is actually taking nice, uh, upper, nice, nice upper coat and nice uh, with uh, along with uh, with Anderson Sahib. He is actually moving with nice coat pant. So smart. So like this if you will see then you will do definitely Aparad you will have opposite result. How you will actually understand that uh, this as of Prabhupada speaking, that in order to understand this, it is very much difficult. You can't understand that at all. That Yukta Vairagya, that Kaushal is so much in depth which are is there, that that two things are there. All, all the time I have to speak, used to speak this. I previously also used to speak These two, all the two points, this is actually the foundation of bhajan. These two, two things. When you will understand this, then everything of bhajan you can understand. If you can understand it, then everything is done in the line of bhajan. And he is taking nice clothes. But for pure Guru Vishnu, if they are taking nice clothes, but there actually no fault in that. If some nice sadhu, he is not at all kapat. That for kapat people, I am not at all speaking. That who is sadhu, that who is taking nice dress, who is wearing nice dress, and is showing yukta vairagya, 
that he knows the he already shown the practical uh, realization of yukta varga about that i'm speaking propa the propa actually he's speaking to shilaban goswami maharaj giving shooted booted and tie he's giving to him and when he is not at ban goswami maharaj not at all doing how i can do i have to take on sanyas the propa speaking that when he is becoming suited booted in front of the propa then propa speaking that come on you see that you can you can see this is actually called varage why because you have renounced your nanan kenshar also why because you have now you are actually renounced your varage you have renounced your nanan kenshar today you in your life has renounced your nanan kenshar today so that is actually called yukta varage balanced renunciation you have just thrown your renunciation today no what uh, son you whatever the external persons will say you are not at all having worrying about that because what you will do by taking work because by bhagwat seva you can't do so that same vairagya you are just putting one kick on that kind of vairagya so bhakti mo thakur also actually telling us this thing that by on our own i am not at all speaking this i am not at all speaking on this on my own bhakti mo thakur in kirtan has already told that that vidya that which will just uh, kick me away and keep me away from bhagwan shri krishna padagar means to kick me away from bhagwan theek hai na you understand the point narottam das thakur ji has written lot of things lot of things have been written by narottam das thakur very nice beautiful vichar those who are actually just uh, kicking me away from bhagwan bhakti mo thakur speaking that that kind of uh, education you just need to kick it and throw it away and also bhakti mo thakur has written in context to this more bhakti mo thakur has written more in context to this there bhakti mo thakur speaking what you see what bhakti mo thakur has written in kirtan whatever material education it is just the actual opulence of maya that in your bhajan it is one kind of uh, barrier actually your uh, spiritual uh, practices that uh, the jeev will become uh, an ass it's just not a foul word what bhakti mo thakur is using but it is the actuality that he will become like an ass that he will become judge magistrate then you have to take the burden if you will become minister then you have to take the burden of this material world and what all kind of different burdens you have to take up but vaishnav if he is uh, actually becoming if some vaishnav is becoming a doctor then i have this kind of proof that for them it is not no there is no kind of difficulty for them especially for vaishnav pure guru vaishnav pure vaishnav it is not at possible that it will become burden but but in the sixth kirtan in the kirtan bhagwan uh, bhakti mo thakur speaking that six kind of vega six kind of veg different kind of veg that pressure what is there inside our body that narottam das thakur is actually just crying and speaking in kirtan that guru dev always used to speak this that these all mahajans that they are actually showing us by doing kirtan and they are actually giving us example by doing kirtan guru dev always used to say timimal that timimal is one uh, one fish also this is actually timin gil that is one kind of fish that tini much well is there this is so much big that you can't even imagine but this also get uh, absorbed there is one another species which can take uh, that timin mal well as well that is what timin gil that timin gil fish narottam das thakur actually just uh, writing and crying speaking kirtan lot of kirtan narottam das thakur has written
एंड अनदर कीर्तन वक्त नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर इज रिटर्न very nice kirtan it is so that the actual greediness of jiva just to take good uh, uh, eating good sleeping and good facilities that is actually all against actual hari bhajan that vairagya that which is natural vairagya which is normal vairagya not abnormal vairagya maybe today or tomorrow it will just break off abnormal vairagya but normal vairagya balanced vairagya is required that this all all your material sense organs and your mind and heart in order to get out of that is very much difficult that is very very difficult to get out of this kapil ji maharaj also devahuti mother speaking that i am actually fallen devavati ma speaking in this uh, well of uh, tamagun in this condition what is the actual solution what is the actual solution in this situation all our material sense organs that our pressure which is there on that our uh, tongue eyes ears every whatever kind of uh, pressure is there of each and every sense organ it is very much difficult to control all these kind of sense organs it is almost impossible to control them it is there is no solution at all we can't do anything in that in this to just get out of this is very very difficult and rare that material talking what ragunath das goswami pad has told in man shiksha i will be just telling you this point afterwards that it is just like prostitute that all the time we are actually doing all rubbish talkings and the jeevatma is just getting polluted by just speaking all material and rubbish material rubbish talkings by that our heart is just getting polluted by material things and hari bhajan that is the topmost barrier in the way of hari bhajan that all those rubbish things who are actually just uh, having that ruchi or interest in that those who have the natural behavior that that ruchi of hari katha is not at all there in them that those who are all the time just speaking material uh, talkings all the time definitely they are uh, in hari katha they will not be finding their heart attracted towards that rashila ragunath das goswami pad speaking that five people five people means it's just one kind of talking not it's not five but five means that these five persons that if they are on in on, if we are on they on the same platform then definitely that material talkings will be there that's why devotees are all the time doing hari kirtan and shravan of hari naam because by hari kirtan what will happen that all kind of rubbish things there is no chance that you can talk rubbish at all when hari kirtan is going on that by speaking hari katha continuous hari katha by continuous hari katha what will happen that there will be no rubbish material talkings no person will be accepting that gram katha material talkings at all there will be no sign of material talkings at all 
and all those rubbish and material, material rubbish material talkings will not be there at all those people who have the desire to do hari bhajan that they just open their ears and just listen it carefully that to do hari bhajan first you just need to rectify your mind and heart that you need to purify your mind and heart first that your your eating should be pure that if your ha- if your eating is pure that we are thinking that we are just by mouth we are eating prasadam e- ears are also having the um, eating like in the form of hari katha mouth is having that mahaprasadam you are taking by mouth so all these kind of different different mahaprasadam you have to take but in this which so all the devotees what they are doing they are they are just showing their adarsh and acharan they are just moving it towards more purity that kind of material talkings in order to hear that with full interest that will definitely going to throw us away from hari bhajan it is very far away from hari bhajan what a, whosoever person is there in this kind of wish that kind of top most can should be there otherwise uh, there will be a lot of problem definitely there will be a chance of getting uh, entrapped in this uh, thing about uh, mind and heart i have already told previous week that how that you just need to control your heart and mind definitely some way out is there regarding this definitely there is no way out but still we just need to find that pathway that if way if way out is not there it's not like that definitely way out is there the prabhupad speaking the prabhupad used to speak those people who are without uh, without giving instruction to your mind and heart they are just putting them independent then definitely they will find it very much difficult to control it they definitely going to find it very difficult definitely it will be very difficult for them to control the prabhupad used to give one example one kind of uh, uh, one boiled rice and one uh, normal white rice that atab chawal now it is just getting boiled and becoming full steamed rice and if some person is just one like a uh, one kind of uh, one kind of uh, uh, raw rice it is and he is thinking that uh, in the raw stage of the rice he is uh, just one kind of uh, uh, boiled rice he is just giving one kind of jugglery in front of everyone then then it is not at all good at all on his part it is not at all good no bhakti no thakur has written that this your contaminated mind and heart which is not at all controlled apial that your heart and mind which is still polluted by maya that still same maya same uh, that uh, mind and heart you will be doing uh, archan and you will be taking sanyas by that you will be giving lecture you tell me is it possible by this polluted and contaminated uh, mind and heart so that's why the prabhupad used to speak every time that in bonded state these people they do don't try to think more overthink in bonded state they are already in bonded state now and they are thinking they are already in bonded state and now they are thinking that they are just externally showing themselves as siddhi they just want to prove that they are actually externally they are siddh the proper speaking it is totally absurd it is not at all good that's why it's very whatever be the case in definitely to control mind and heart is not a matter of joke to control mind and heart is not a matter of joke and it's a very serious uh, wish and the prabhupad speaking regarding this the prabhupad used to speak regarding this that if someone actually used to go to nirjan bhajan 
that just just need to open their ears and hear it carefully the by the actual effect of harinam sankirtan then only go by going ahead then hari bhajan is possible and raghunath das goswami pad that in order to put his mind in front and he has given us a lot of instructions regarding how to control our mind and heart it's a very in depth uh, vichar that top most in depth vichar it is now we are actually discussing and we are going forward by discussing it this important point and this which are that shri guru shri guru goshte that adav guru means guru means that diksha guru sikha guru padma pad padma padaksha guru lot of gurus i have already told you previously regarding that that in order to take a guru that there should be a very fixed point you need to understand very carefully that only that you can accept only that sikha guru as siksha guru those who are actually not at all against my gurudev definitely if my gurudev is sad guru if my sad guru is not sad guru and someone actually speaking care carefully that about him against him then shri guru means then diksha guru siksha guru padma padaksha guru that with guru how we have to that with guru how 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 we have to exchange priti arati and priti that that in the second shloka it is completely written there already guru goshte goshala yesu sujane bhu surgane aur uske baad and after that samantri apna jo mantra mila hai that whatever mantra you have got from your guru dev that shri mantra and shri hari naam that shri in shri mantra and shri hari naam brajanava durjuba dando sarane sada dammam hitva kuriro kururati rud kuriroti apurva pachitara sada dammam hitva kururati apurva pachitara Oh my heart brutal heart and the prabhupad speaking that this all the prabhupad actually writing this that on your heart apart from that nothing is top most that is uh, top most dangerous this material mind and heart whatever will happen what how to, how to, at what point in order to just believe on this material mind and heart is very much difficult so sh- shri guru means that diksha guru shiksha guru and diksha guru it's you just need to take who who is is uh, who his diksha guru there is no difference between them at all if day by day that divisive attitude you are actually gaining that different different acharya ship they are actually not at all following shastra the shastra then definitely we don't need to follow any kind of adjustment with that acharya if he has money power okay from up till what point he can go definitely you have to do bhajan on your what to do we can't do anything so diksha guru shiksha guru and padma padaksha guru that on that guru what kind of preeti and rati you should have about this 
Raghunath Das Goswami Path has just uh, told us the f- topmost point. So then what it is there? It's already written here. O oh mind, O oh contaminated mind, that onto your lotus feet, I am actually just uh, taking shelter onto your lotus feet. And I am just uh, taking shelter of you. That in front of you, I am just making this uh, prayer. I don't do lotus feet. I am just uh, with full uh, humble mood. I am actually crying in front of you. That what kind of prayer? On to the lotus feet of Guru. That Raghunandu is speaking. On to the lotus feet of Brajadham. And after that, on to the lotus feet of Shri Brajavasi. And uh, all those who are actually not Vikrit. Who are non-different. And Vusu Surgan. Shri Harinam. That uh, all those Braja Jeevas who are staying there in Braja Dham eternally, what actually written here? That those who by Brahm Sayudya Sharanapati. Just to get the top mustrati inside your heart, that is very much important with humble mood. On this same point, we are actually just speaking, and I'll now be one by one by the Kripa of Bhagwan. I have just categorized each and every tattva that what is Guru. That if someone actually getting a Sat Guru and no Sat Guru, then definitely his life is useless. Or maybe it can be there that, that uh, his confidence has just got broken. So now this Siksha Guru, it's not like that, that he can work as a Diksha Guru. Because Siksha Guru and Diksha Guru, that it is on the same platform, it's already written in the Shastra. Same honor you have to give, but still, Guru Patman, if it is there, then, then if we are actually doing Pranama to Lotus Feet of uh, Sikha Guru, then there is no fault in it at all. Now, man, in one Siksha, what it is written? What actually written? Here it, it's already written here that Sikha Guru, Dikha Guru on to him that what whatever what kind of rati on to lotus feet of guru dev because he is nitya parshat that uh, may, that uh, some surrounding situation but is but in the prakrit jagat in the transcendental world everything is adjusted follow the point so after that how we can think that in our mantra that Shri Nam and ha- Nam in Mahamantra, Shri Nam and Hari is all the same. And Brajana and onto the lotus feet of all those Brajajan, I have taken their shelter. So, what will happen by that? That same.
so actually it's written like that that all those asuras means that all those brahmins that those who are actually topmost brahman no not shudra brahman that shudra cannot shudra cannot be brahman actually and brahman also cannot be shudra but everything is mixed with him you see my janeu is there so definitely were shudra that i am brahman he is speaking externally okay what i can do so in shri hari naam that onto lotus feet of hari naam that onto the that, onto lotus feet of yugal sarkar that my rati should be so much that it is uncomparable rati that is actually developing onto lotus feet of yugal sarkar radha govind understand immediately they are actually told like that to do so like this actually is the instruction given to us so guru what is all correct guru matlab guru means that diksha guru and shiksha guru guru ka upar that uh, above guru so much rati we should be having that shri nama sacharya ji has in one shlok it's uh, more than sufficient to understand that i will speak only one shlok of shri nivas sacharya that is actually more than sufficient to understand everything that is more than sufficient that's why it is actually spoken sri guru dikha guru sikha guru guru ka bare mein bataya that about guru actually it is written that dikha guru sikha guru is all the same and tatva is also should be the same because there is no disparity at all so like this is the case that padma padaksha guru and bonded jeevas they are actually doing the work of uh, guru then this kind of advice is not at all given that the bonded jeevas are doing the work of uh, guru dev and the bonded person has just taken a bonded acharya only then for them no man shiksha is not at all there at all for them you understand the point that about this lot of things are already mentioned in upanishads and bhagavat also it is written lot of uh, examples and proofs are there regarding this guru koi mamuli baat nahi guru is not a normal person that if some bonded jeeva doing the work of a guru then if someone actually uh, speaking something wrong about that then what to do in that that you have taken some kapat guru to take some material facility then definitely you gonna put yourself in that situation only but in my life by the actual vichar of the prabhupad i am actually just getting everything onto lotus feet of that gurudev that i am already actually taking atma samarpan onto his lotus feet that gurudev who can give me that topmost vastu that topmost object he can give complete object everything he can give prabhupad ji has taken ashram onto lotus feet of gorke chor das bhavan this is also one kind of revolting wish the topmost pandit person he has just uh, baba ji mare is not that illiterate if he is illiterate then how he can understand the philosophy of uh, krishna how he can write prem bhakti chandrika kirtan so who knows kirtan then he knows everything this is not one kind of matter of joke definitely is regulated if he is not at all educated and regulated then how it is possible that krishna shiksha the instructions regarding krishna and chilini was tare also speaking up till that gurudev that by body speech and mind everything you have given to gurudev and you have taking gurudev as the topmost uh, uh, pran topmost life of gurudev gurudev is not at all there and everything is vacant without gurudev that's why shrini was acharya has written very nicely ओपी 
How it is possible? You tell me. Shri Nivas Acharya Ji also speaking. That those who have that topmost, uh, topmost Guru Nishtha, that uh, without Guru Dev he will die. That kind of uh, topmost tremendous Guru Nishtha. Everyone actually is coming with kapat bhav. They just want to cheat everyone. They are. These people all, like Gaur Kishore Das Bhavani Mara speaking, that someone speaking to him, that what they are speaking, that our Prabhupada, the Prabhupada, speaking to Gaur Kishore Das Bhavani on to his lotus feet, he you give us, give me Diksha. No, I can't give Diksha. That uh, one person, I already, I just uh, having confidence of him and he is actually making me, kicking me. Uh, def, def, so, like this. Everyone is cheating me. One he is actually just making me foolish and going away. So now today I will not at all having any confidence on anyone now from now onwards. So this is the actual condition what to do. Gaur Kishore Das Bhavanji Maharaj speaking. And Gaur Kishore Das Bhavanji Maharaj is actually topmost uh, instructed. But externally is not at all educated. The Prabhupada used to speak. When uh, the people used to just joke about where actually your Gurudev is staying. That what is the actual uh, place of Gurudev for which Mahant of what Sampradha is and the Prabhupada used to speak very nicely and you just open your ears and hear very carefully the Prabhupada speaking that my Guru Padmada is Paramans Paraman Sajar Javadjashi Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj externally actually he do, is not at all educated but uh, that in transcendental world whatever kind of uh, uh, topmost tremendous knowledge that kind of conclusive point he knows each and everything that any kind of problem of this material world that it is there onto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma. Whatever problem in the material world is there any problem. Everything onto the lotus feet of my Guru Pad Padma. My Guru they will do everything. That what you are speaking, yes, definitely it is right. That there is no problem situation of this uh, material world what Guru Dev can't uh, uh, solve. That um, Guru Dev don't know English. But Guru Dev don't know mathematics. Guru Dev don't know chemistry and biological sciences. This is actually a darshan of an ass. The Prabhupada, one is one kind of evolution, revolution he has done. For those, the external people thinking they are not at all educated, that onto their lotus feet, Prabhupada has taken the topmost ashray. That if you have full faith onto lotus feet of Gurudev, that it doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't have any effect how much education Gurudev is having. That Gurudev is actually solving each and every problem of our uh, bhajan life or not. Any kind of problem arising in our bhajan, Gurudev will definitely gonna rectify that and fix that. So tomorrow also I will be just discussing this point. I am just touching it today a bit. And rest I will be just talking, taking it tomorrow. About this, maybe you have this kind of information that uh, this kind of uh, points from the Upanishad. What thing you are actually attaining, that uh, everything you can attain in life, there is nothing left at all. That those who are actually recognizing him, no kind of other thing is required to know, understand. There is no kind of desire to understand anything else. That when you are attaining that complete object, that all other things which are all rubbish, there is no point uh, in getting all those rubbish, act, um, rubbish objects at all. Everything you have got by, if Bhagwan you are getting, then everything you are getting. That inside Bhagwan everything is there. If uh, after getting Bhagwan you have uh, heard sometimes that I don't have any money, I don't have property, he is speaking like that. No, not at all. That if you already got Bhagwan, then everything is there because satisfaction is there inside. So that's why uh, pure Guru Vaishnav, their life, you can see it very nicely. You can see that inside their heart, there is no dis- dissatisfaction inside them. There is no uh, unhappiness is there. The actual uh, answer of this why is actually Bhagavad Darshan. There is also different kind of categories of Bhagavad Darshan. That the tattva which are actually by the grip of Gurudev we are understanding. 
it is that re- it is getting realized in the, that that way you just need to uh, that that we we cannot we forget that then we will become like beggars that infinity brahmand my nakedness will get exposed that those who don't have any tatva gyan for those that those who don't have any bhakti nothing is there then the divya gyan nothing is there in them then maybe externally they are actually have millions and millions of rupees he is actually one kind of uh, uh, so called acharya but still of millions of dollars but still his nakedness definitely quickly gonna get exposed in front of whole people i can give you a lot of example regarding this you can see nowadays this the actual modern world of internet social media is there and if some foolish person you can make him indra what to do ordinary person there is actually no senses of them no kind of knowledge is there what is actually good what is not at all good what is sad then what is asad they don't know at all at everything so this automatically used to often happen happen that in vrindavan that immediately he is becoming acharya who like up just like a rocket just like a rocket propad used to speak like a rocket he is going up who like that and then again do down like that propad speaking that he is just one kind of rocket that for 4 to 5 to 7 years uh, acharya he is gone very up and after 20 to 25 years back i have he is one kind of so called acharya is doing katha he is going very above like and then doom just going long down and nowadays also actually they are coming to me and maharaj he is actually a big acharya is taking lot of name and fame from everyone and uh, i he don't know actual hari katha so some people actually just putting that uh, should we hear his hari katha then i actually told that i don't know him at all that what who he is and uh, what he is speaking that you just show me what he is actually speaking i just just uh, seen that and heard him and just by hearing and and he is actually samanyavad he is not at all sadhu he is sad samanyavad he is going to ex mission he is getting his aarti and in y mission he is going and taking the aarti he is samanyavad having a just adjusting mood and i have already heard two words all rubbish no siddhant vichar nothing is there at all but still all persons will be hearing him only <laughs> everything they are listening they definitely going to go towards him just to take his kripa oh so nice ha eh? so like this this world is like this nothing we don't we don't have anything to do at all that whose luck is very very good that then only they can understand otherwise nothing we can do at all we cannot do anything at all till what point i'll be just crying and just bark like a dog up till what point my voice will go i don't know you just to be care give making everyone careful in order to just give them that understanding whatever kind of uh, pro- if under your limit i can do otherwise it is the will of bhagwan i am actually is the will of bhagwan actually is your uh, own will of bhagwan whatever you want to do that if his someone's name is getting spreaded and uh, some your name is actually getting uh, disrespected up till what point i can do i can do some famous person that is the actual mystery <laughs> this is the actual mystery that person will go towards him only definitely they gonna go towards they already see everything also that this acharya what he has done previously and this picture and again he is actually speaking pravachan so this is the actual very vichitra duniya very colorful world nothing we can do in that this actually this whole material world is very colorful they are in this they, they don't know the definition of guru at all and they are not at all accepting it as well so guru shri guru diksha guru shiksha guru on to his lotus feet whatever kind of ratimati should be there and after that what is braj dham that just by taking ticket we can go to braj dham it's not like that at all this all kind of vichar we will be just discussing and who is actually brajwasi who what is actually sudan who are actually busurgan who are samant that with mantra what is actual relationship with guru and what is shri hari nam and what is the actual difference between hari nam and the mantra and on to the lotus feet of the jivas they it is actually some one kind of boy and girl 
that this is very much important to understand everything what is actually dambh this all points you just need to understand slowly steadily we'll be discussing that by the kripa of bhagwan and now you just uh, all the time continuously hear this and up till now we have to just give uh, uh, rest up till this point what i have to do just forgive me i don't have any else uh, no option apart from that up till this i have to uh, because other katha is also there i have to take give rest up till this point today forgive me nahi atah param labh dehi na bhramatami ho यतो विंदेत परमाम शांतिम नश्यती ही शंक्षिती नहीं अतह परमलाभो देहिनाम ब्रह्मतामियो यतो विंदेत परमाम शांतिम नश्यती ही शंक्षिती ही वांचकल पतुरशी के पास सिंधु भोज पतितानं पावन भो विष्णु भ्यो नमः